Today I'm going to be reviewing all the books I read in April. There were some highs and there were some lows. So I'm going to be giving you guys my overall opinion, who I'd recommend them to, and my rating. Welcome back to my channel, it is Anastasia here and as we go along make sure to comment down your opinions of these books if you've read them down below and some more book recommendations. The first book I read in April was The Killer Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. This book is about two characters, Princess Lara who is Siren Rorty. She travels around the sea doing whatever her brutal and fearless mother tells her to do. However, when she is cursed into humanity, she must deliver the heart of a powerful siren killer or remain human forever. Then we have Prince Elaine, he is the heir to a powerful and well-known kingdom, he is also the captain to a fearsome crew of siren hunters. When he rescues a girl from drowning, he promises her and his crew that they will take down siren kind for good. However, he has no way of knowing if he can trust her and others that come their way. This book featured betrayal, achieving freedom, romance and some action scenes. My overall rating for this book would be a 3 out of 5. I felt that nothing much happened or nothing amazing or new happened to make me give it a much more higher rating. In my opinion, it was just an average read. I would recommend this to anyone who wants to read an adventurous chill read that features betrayal, romance, character development and some action scenes. The second book I read in April was called Legend Born by Tracy Dion. This book was absolutely fantastic and I really enjoyed reading it. I made a whole video about this book documenting my experience and giving you guys a full review. So I'll put it on the screen now or I'll link it in the description down below. This book is about a 16 year old girl called Brie. After her mum dies in an accident, all Brie wants to do is escape. So when the opportunity comes up to go to a residential program for bright high schoolers, she thinks that it's the perfect escape. However, she witnesses a magical attack her very first night on campus and soon after she recovers a memory from the night her mother died. To find out more of what happened to her mother, she joins a secret and historically white magic society where a lot is uncovered. We follow her journey as she tries to find the truth and bring justice to her family. This book had so much plots and twists and it had so much action scenes that were really intense to read about. The last 50 pages of this book took a massive twist and it left off on such a huge cliffhanger. My overall rating for this book would be a 5 out of 5. I recommend this to anyone who wants to read a young adult fantasy novel that features plots and twists, interesting characters, emotional and intense scenes and an inspiring character. This book was definitely worth my time and for those who enjoy young adult fantasy too, this would be perfect for you. The third book I read in April was called Birdmark by Tracy Dion. This is the second book in the Legend Born series. This book was so amazing but it was really emotional as well. This book carries on from the massive cliffhanger that was left off on the previous book. We can see how Bree is tired of running so throughout the book we can see how she takes her problems into her own hands. This book was filled with plots and twists and action scenes just like the first book and there was always something new happening. In each chapter a new problem always awaited. My overall rating for this book will be a 5 out of 5. I recommend this to anyone who wants to read a young adult fantasy series that has emotional scenes, interesting characters, action scenes, plots and twists and an inspiring character. The fourth book I read in April was called The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Eisen. This was such a sweet romance book. It is about two characters, a girl called Brie who is secretly in love with her longtime best friend and NFL legend Nathan. However, after a car accident, she ends up injuring her knee so badly that ends up screwing her plans and becoming a ballerina. Now she owns her own dance studio, which she struggles to maintain. When she finds out that Nathan has bought the entire building, she is not very happy about it. So after a night out full of tequila shots, she ends up spilling her deepest secret to a TMZ reporter. After one viral video, everyone falls in love with them and thinks that they would be the perfect couple. Nathan's assistant has an idea that will mean Brie is financially secure. However, they must stay for three whole weeks. This this book was so cute and it was a closed door romance which I love because you can really focus on the chemistry that the characters have with each other. This book also made me laugh out a few times and I could not hold back a smile whilst reading this because it was really enjoyable to read about their relationship with each other. My overall rating for this book would be a 4 out of 5. I recommend this to anyone who wants to read a closed door romance that is really cute and is a laugh out loud romantic comedy. The fifth book I read in April was called The Light and Everything by Katia Ballin. This book is on the shortlist for this year's Carnegie Medal. Katia Ballin won last year's Carnegie Medal with the book October October which is also a really heartwarming and enjoyable book to read. This book is about two characters, a boy called Tom and a girl called Sophia. Tom is quiet and timid and he finds comfort in folding paper into beautiful shape which distracts him from everything going on around him. Then we have Sophia who is outgoing and energetic. The book refers to her as a storm in the shape of a girl. We see how they both have problems that they struggle with and when Tom moves into Sophia's cottage, when Tom's mum and Sophia's dad fall in love, they both wish that this whole mess would go away. 
way. We follow their journey as they slowly start to trust each other and become a family together. I really like this book because it was really heartwarming and shows you how unpredictable life can be. I like the slow build up of their friendship and how Tom finally found a place where he belonged. When I reached the end of the book, I was really glad to see how far the characters developed. My overall rating for this book would be a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I recommend this to anyone who wants to read a heartwarming book that features life issues and a family slowly starting to love and trust each other. The sixth and last book I read in April was called Needle by Patrice Lawrence. This book is also on this year's shortlist for the Konichi Prize. This book is about a girl called Charlene. She's a black teenager who is in foster care. She loves to knit and the one thing she loves more than her knitting is her sister Candy. She was separated from her when her mother died. She hasn't seen her since. When the special blanket she was making for her sister is destroyed by her foster mom's son, she loses it and stabs him in the hand with a knitting needle which leads to her being in a police cell. We follow her journey as she tries to reach her sister and tries to find a way to say sorry whilst her freedom and future is at stake. We see how Charlene deals with a range of different problems. She suffers from bullying and racist microaggressions and so much more. This book gives you a window into a life you probably haven't heard about and it also makes you think about what you would do in their position. My overall rating for this book would be a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I recommend this to anyone who wants to read an emotive fast paced book that features a range of different problems and life issues. Those are all the books I read in April so now you have some more books to read. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye! Thank you.